Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Reality check scorches anti-ice protesters who built a wall around their encampment. Now, this is epic, and it goes to show just how confused the extreme left in this country really is. Left-wing protesters in Portland, Oregon have finally been removed from outside the city's immigration headquarters after holding up for five weeks and throwing a hissy fit which would be the envy of any two-year-old, all because of illegal immigration. But what's perhaps even more eye-opening is how they reacted to the fact that officers were trying to remove them. They actually built a wall. Yup, they built a wall of trash around the encampment, with guards and everything to keep out those they don't agree with. You just can't make this stuff up. Here is Brittany Hughes' epic takedown via the Daily Wire. After five weeks of putting up with this particular liberal temper tantrum, the city of Portland finally wised up and gave the boot to a bunch of pro-illegal alien protesters who'd set up camp outside of a local ICE building in mid-June. This is the same uber-progressive group that got caught hurling racial slurs at federal cops. One black police officer said that he had been called the N-word, an Uncle Tom, and a blood traitor. A female Hispanic cop reported being called racist names and labeled a weak woman. So much for loving Latinos, right? Other officers said that protesters called them rapists, murderers, and Nazis, and said that they hope their families de. But now here's the best part. When federal police finally showed up to evict the mob from federal property, protesters built a wall around their encampment to protect their group and keep out people they didn't like. Now, let me say that again for those who are just a little slower on the uptake. A group of anti-border toddlers who throw a hissy fit anytime someone mentions enforcing our immigration laws actually built a physical wall around their little area to defend themselves and keep out unwanted visitors. It was a crappy one made out of, like, tarps and furniture and random junk, but still, if that is not just the very definition of irony. In fact, they even posted their own version of guards around the perimeter and refused to let photographers take pictures inside their camp. And of course, the tree-hugging, planet-loving anti-Trump support group couldn't even be bothered to clean up after themselves before hightailing it out of town. They left behind piles of garbage, dirty mattresses, used clothing, and homemade porta-potties. When they finally got inside, police found nails, dirty needles, and feces. The garbage problem was so bad that local authorities had to declare it a biohazard site and hire an outside contractor to come in and clean it all out. But as the regressive left was insulting black cops and wallowing in their own filth, Here's what ICE was doing. They arrested an illegal alien sex offender in North Carolina who'd been convicted of two counts of sexual battery of a preteen girl and released after local authorities refused to honor an ICE detainer. They arrested 64 criminal aliens in Long Island, including a known cocaine trafficker. They nabbed another 132 illegal aliens in Virginia and D.C., including an MS-13 leader and a Bolivian guy who'd raped a girl under the age of 13. While leftists were stomping through their own feces and holding cardboard signs calling them Nazis, border agents in Texas were rescuing a three-year-old girl who had been abandoned in the river. She's okay, by the way. The week before that, Arizona agents saved 64 illegal aliens locked in tractor trailers. So that's what we've got here. On the one hand, we have law enforcement officers who risk their lives every day to arrest criminals, capture child molesters, stop drug trafficking, and save babies from drowning literally. And on the other, we have left-wing hypocrites who parade around calling people racist names and leaving behind piles of their own waste. And if you still don't know which side of that particular wall you fall on, I'm not sure there's a power on earth that can help you. The irony in this is just so off the chart that I don't know where to start. These people hold up camp illegally for five weeks outside an ICE office to protest against a wall to keep people out of our nation who don't belong here but they build a wall to keep those out which don't agree with. How is this even logical in any shape matter or form? Border Patrol doesn't only deport illegal aliens. They also protect those who are crossing the border illegally from cartels and criminals. And most importantly they protect us American citizens from what is less than desirable people making their way across the border, people like the man who killed Kate Steinle in San Francisco and was acquitted of the crime by a jury of his peers. This nonsense needs to stop. A nation cannot survive without borders. We know most of those who come here illegally are just looking for a better life, and they are welcome too, but it has to be legally and through the front door. If you don't respect a nation enough to follow her laws, then you have no business being here to begin with. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.